Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on this mandala piece with a watercolor background. The paper I use in this drawing is Dollar and Rowney watercolor paper. It's 90 pound. It's my first time using this watercolor paper and I really liked it. The watercolors I'm using on the paper is Dollar and Rowney as well. Um, I got them at Walmart for about $12 or so. They're not the best, I'm looking to buy some newer, better quality watercolors, so if you guys had any suggestions, just let me know in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. And the brush that I'm using is a Derwent watercolor brush, it's like the Aqua Pentel one, or whatever, I don't think I'm saying that right, but whatever, the one where you put the water into the brush, and it was my first time trying out that brush since I got it in my art haul video, I'll link that above. But yeah, I just didn't like how the colors of the watercolor weren't as vibrant as I wanted them. So now I'm starting the drawing process of this piece. Um, I have to apologize for the shakiness of the camera. I'm not sure how much you can see it because the video is sped up. But when I was just watching the footage before I edited it at all, um, it was really shaky because my tripod was leaning against my desk in a weird way and I didn't realize. So, sorry about that. In this drawing, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I do switch back to a pencil a lot. I like to go back and, when I'm starting a new part of the mandala, do it with pencil just so it's equal all the way around and if I don't like it I I'm not stuck with it so if you guys use pencil first like there's nothing wrong with using pencil before you put the pen down and speaking of the pens the kinds I use are the Pigma Micron I use size 03 for the bigger areas and I usually use all Pigma Microns but my smallest one broke so for the small areas, I use the Stedler Pigment Liner 0.05. If you guys have any ideas for any future videos, drawings, paintings, anything, let me know because I'm kind of running it right now. Um, so any ideas, I will read all your comments, I love getting comments from you guys, so thank you to everyone who has commented, and to anyone who does comment on this video. Alright, so we're getting to the end of the video, um, tell me what you guys think, do you like this piece, do you want to see more like this, and also if you have any watercolor suggestions for me to get because I want to try some more watercolors that are better than these ones. So anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Subscribe if you like this. Check out my other videos and I'll see you next week. Bye!